chicken Kiev. This is the king of chicken Now, foods, when I was the young chef in the, in the late 70s, um, uh, we used to have this on the menu, and we had it all, along with chicken Maryland and duck and cherry sauce and, and whole roasted duck with orange sauce. And this is on the menu. And this is exactly how we used to right, do it. Right, good. I'm all in. Now, oh, let's start here. here got... this. It's your favourite. I've never you made it. it. Okay. No, no, right, no, no, no. Here you go. I buy it from a very well-known food store. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> salted butter. Always salted. Never unsalted because okay. you need that salt. Parsley. Yeah. Chopped garlic. How much? Oh, as much as you like. And how many chicken breasts are you making with this recipe you're uh, putting together? This one here will do three to four. OK. OK. The, the biggest problem is you overfill, overfill the breast. And then the bill pulls out. Exactly. So, uh, a, little, a couple of little tips here for you. So mix them up. Well, I've got one here which we just made up a bit earlier in the bag because it makes it easy to put inside. Now, what we used to do was hold the chicken and we would cut open along here. Mm -hmm. Put the chilled butter in, put it up with cocktail sticks. Ah. Bit of a pain because it will all run out. So what so, you're going to do? So today? what I've done here is, with a sharp knife, I have just inserted it in the top thick part of the breast and gone down inside to make a little envelope mm -hmm. and come right the way around so it's not punctured here or there and the only hole is just there. Yeah. So what you do then is with the the uh, p the piping bag. You pipe the butter, and you can see it going down. Oh yes, you can. Yeah, see, it's a bit like putting an implant in. <laughs> I, I'm, my brother's a doctor. <laughs> my brother's a doctor, and I think I'd make a very good plastic surgeon. Brace yourself. You put that in there, like, see. And then what you do is, when you get to the end, you don't. You just release the pressure slightly. Yeah, yeah. So it says that. That was very neat. Yeah, what do you reckon? Yeah. Very neat. If I, pay, if I pack in cooking, I could do that. Very good. Now, then, with the cocktail stick, we just secure that little tiny bit up like so, and there it is. And that's it. So, either well way... Done. Either I'm way. I'm very impressed. Now, what you can do at this point is freeze them. At yeah. This point, or bake them very cold. So, here I've got seasoned flour. Yeah. Uh, you know, in it goes. Get all the flour off into the egg. Now, the only difference I'm using here is the panko breadcrumbs with Japanese style. Oh, Crumbs. to make it really crispy, crispy. Yeah, and, and that's just a modern twist on it, really. And... Uh, and, and coat them like that. Now, if you're going to put in the fridge for any length of time, you need to re... That, that, that's all off it, don't worry. Did you... somebody on here put in egg yolk the other day to stop it going stringy? When you dip your thingy in. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> I can't remember. Right. They did something to the egg yolk and it stopped it going congealed. Oh, really? It oh, was I like a little bit... It wasn't vinegar, but oh, it was okay. something like that. I can't remember. Okay. Anyway. So, now, what you can do <laughs> is... You can chill at this point or freeze them. Now, I've got one here which we froze earlier. Right. Now, when they come out of the freezer, they will what they have get what they call water migration, which comes out of the, the meat as it's, as it's uh, defrosting. Yeah. You just need to cut that again in crumbs mm -hmm. and it'll bake it. Oh, if you don't, if it's too hot in the fryer, all, the outside will come off. Ah. But you can bake it in the oven if you don't want to fry it at that point from frozen. It'll oh, work. Right, okay. It works equally well. So, there we are. That's going there. So, we're going to... 175. Now, the secret about frying this is you fry it gently because there's quite a thick piece of, of protein to cook right through. So you're cooking, you're frying that all the way through? Yeah, you fry it all the way through. Oh, At that naughty. temperature, see that, just gently sizzling it's away. It's really naughty. Well, not really, because you're coating the outside. Inside's zero fat. Apart from the butter. <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll come into that a bit, Phil. I mean, but, but the actual meat itself, yes. Yes. it's a very small amount of butter. Yes. And then if that is sealed in heat, and sealed properly, yeah. the door doesn't go in. OK. All right? Like Over it. Here. Chopped salad. I love a chopped salad. Now, dressing first. This is what we used to do. We used to use mustard and egg yolks. Yeah. And now all um, British stamped lion eggs yes. are salmonella free. So you're actually OK to use a raw egg yolk you okay. put in your dressing. So a little pinch of sugar, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. And then I add vinegar, which is in sherry vinegar here, which we used a lot of in the 70s. And that's a very low-fat dressing right there. Yeah, it is, until I start putting the oil in. Oh. <laughs> now, a most, uh, mustard's an emulsifier, so is the egg yolk. But if of course, you... we didn't care in the 70s. No, no one, no one really cared about it. But if you liquidise this, the, the, the egg yolk used to go white and you'd put it on your salad. It's really quite trendy. Still used to kill us, but we just didn't yeah. know what it was. <laughs> so... There's a the dressing. It's chopped salad. We've got iceberg here, a couple of herbs. It's just being bothered to chop it all up. It is a pain. Julia does it for me, if I'm being honest. Oh, I don't do I it. Julia. Mustard and cress, which we had in the Love cress. Love cress. Every, every Sunday like, at dinner, my mum refused to cook, so we had a salad. It was Webb's lettuce, a piece of celery, one tomato and a bit of cress. It was Gino who uh, put salt in the egg whites, by the way. It stops it going stringy. Oh, it just, it just breaks it down. Yeah, 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 yeah I didn't yeah, know yeah. that. I didn't know anything. Now, I was going to turn this over. Look at that. Oh, so my you, God. So you're cooking it nice. How long will that take? That'll take around about 15, 13, 13 to 15 minutes. And what oil gently. are you cooking it in? Sorry. Any, any oil will do. Any oil. Cheap oil. Well, simply. 
Don't do cheap. Or, or if you're going to do it, then olive oil preferably then. a healthy oil would do. Well, because you can reuse you... that and put it once it's cooled oh, down. Of course you can. Grapeseed, grape, seed, grape oh, seed, okay. canola oil, which is rapeseed oil. Okay. Yeah. But just the Americans call it that because I don't like the word rape, which is fair enough. In that okay. goes, and you pour the dressing on top. You give the girl stir. And what I've got here, guys, is one that I cooked earlier. Now look oh, at that, Philip. If you just lift that off, Philip. Lift it off where? Onto there. The, the actual Onto thing. our 70s plate. And then just break that open, and you can have a look at that. Oh and my gosh. Now, with a bit of luck, that should be cooked right Do You know, they had it right in the 70s. Look how delicious this yes. salad looks. And look at these, Holly. You can eat it with a spoon. I know. Look there. Look at Ooh. that little beauty oh, there. Sprunk shut. Now, look, you can see because we've sealed it, but the garlic butter has pretty much stayed in there. I have taken out the, um, uh, the cocktail stick. Can now, I. Um... Have a little taste of that, please. I'm going to go over to the table, guys. And of course, you need to make sure that yes. everybody that you're going to kiss that day eats this, <laughs> too. I'll get a taste of that. And then crunchy... The panko does make a difference. But it's just... It's great, isn't it? Oh, mm -mm. <laughs> a bit more salad, then. A bit more salad on there. Mm. Right. 